Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabrab. Welcome to another all-time team build. Today is episode one of the Chicago White Sox. This team build is actually looking pretty nice. They've gotten a lot of cards, especially from some of the younger players in the league right now. So starting off in left field, we got Mini Minoso, 99 overall. Don't have the prestige yet. We'll get him later. Uh, Juan Pierre in center field and then actually everyone but Juan Pierre in the starting lineup is a true White Sox card in game Which is pretty cool. We got Louis Robert and right in the infield Yohan Moncada Tim Anderson at shortstop 95 future star Nick Madrigal at second 88 prospect Andrew Vaughn at first and Zach Collins at catcher on the bench We got Jimmy Rollins the gold Ken Griffey jr. Because we haven't gotten the diamond yet uh, diamond video coming later on in a couple weeks, maybe. Roberto Alomar at second base, Yasmani Grandal, and White Sox legend Adam Dunn. We'll see if he can hit over 180 this time. <laughs> uh, rotation looking super nice. We are going to be debuting the Players League Lucas Giolito. I think this card has the potential to be a little deceptive, especially with his delivery and the circle changeup that he throws. So we'll see how he does. Expecting decent to good things from this card. Uh, and then we'll probably be using some starters out of the pen because all we got is Gold Goose Gossage and we did just pick up finally a closer, the new Keith Folk that dropped. It's huge for this team build to have at least one diamond reliever, but we'll probably use Sale out of the bullpen, we'll probably use Kopech. Uh, but debuting Giolito, let's hop into some gameplay. Alright, taking on K Burton 22, we're facing Bruce Dar Gratterall and a whole bunch of future stars, just two of them actually. <laughs> Obviously, we got Giolito on the mound, like I said. We are on the road, so no U.S. Cellular Field, as I still call it, even though it's called Guaranteed Rate Field now. People give me way too much crap about that. I don't know why. We have an all-speed team, pretty much, and we're playing at Coors Field, so hopefully we can get some balls in the gap and get some triples. <laughs> Otherwise, we are going to get outslugged like crazy. Madrigal leading us off with a walk. That's huge with his speed. Juan Pierre behind him. We may try to take off here. 98 speed, 92 stealing. That's pretty tempting. Taking off with Madrigal. We got that stolen by a mile, right? Not by a mile, but we're in there. <laughs> a walk into steal. 2-2 two -two count for Juan Pierre. Let's do some damage. Oh, we jammed him. <laughs> Just laid okay for a double. Juan Pierre, Nick Madrigal. one nothing White Sox. Minoso up the middle. That gets by Bruce Dar. We're going to test the diamond arm in center field. 96 speed. We are in there. 2 nothing already. Nobody out yet. And still 87 speed at first base. Man, our first three hitters are fast. Minoso takes off. I think we got that one stolen too, dude. We are just killing him on the base pass this inning. Moncada to left center is going to be a fly out. I was way under that. If that was a sinker, I would have crushed it. We might be able to tag, though. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> what is going on? This poor guy cannot get a break this inning. Vaughn to left center. That's going to drive two more home. Still nobody out in the top of the first. All five hitters have reached base so far. He's got to do something with Gratterall. I actually really liked that Andrew Vaughn card when I used him before. I think he's a super good card. Anderson to right. Is it going to get down? It is not. We'll try to tag though. We may be out. Thought he'd get a worse animation than that. We made it to third. One down now for Zach Collins. He intentionally walked my seven and eight hole to get to the pitcher. There's still only one out though. So we're going to strike out with Giolito. That'll give us an opportunity to have the bases loaded two outs with Nick Madrigal. Hitting for the second time in the inning. If he can put one in the gap, it's going to put us up seven nothing. Madrigal to left! <laughs> Perfect fly ball! Grand slam for Nick Madrigal. It is eight to nothing in the first inning. Holy cow. Oh my god. Yo, he's done, I think. Holy crap. Well, Giolito, undefeated, complete game shutout, didn't even throw a pitch in his debut, so of course I'm going to play another one for y'all. <laughs> that last game was insane. Game number two, we actually are the home team, and this is hilarious. We're facing Go Cubbies as an all-White Sox team. <laughs> How do I keep queuing into rival teams in these videos? That's hilarious. He's got Bruised R on the mound as well. 
Hopefully his can do a little, be a little better than the last guys. Alright, Giolito debut. Like I said, I think this card could be sneaky deceptive just because of his delivery. He's a little tough to pick up. We will see how he does. This game is on a Hall of Fame, it appears. Threw the change up right down the middle. <laughs> Could not have missed my spot any worse. We just got bailed out so hard. Look at the speed from Madrigal. Wow, that was <laughs> that was some range. Hung the curveball to Trout. I gotta stop trying to throw those off speeds in the dirt, man. They just always hang. I know I had an early release, but <laughs> man, they always end up over the plate somehow. Struck him out swinging. We give up the one dinger. Otherwise, pretty solid inning from Lou. All right, Nick Madrigal and his 5,000 OPS after last game is stepping into the box. I don't think he can do any better. To right center, that's going to die. That's the Nick Madrigal we know. <laughs> 81 off the bat. Pierre up the middle. He may beat this out. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, he's there. <laughs> Juan Pierre is somehow my best hitter in all these videos. Many to right center, that's getting down. Pierre's gonna go to third with his good speed, and we're gonna have first and third one out for our cleanup hitter, Yoan Moncada. Time to take advantage. We may try to steal second as well. Moncada to right field, that's getting down. Tie game. Dude, this lineup for the White Sox has been doing some damage in the first inning. Ooh, he busted me in with the sinker. That's hard to turn on. I had good timing on it, just missed it with my PCI. Two down. Anderson works the walk. Base is loaded for Zach Collins. The Zach Collins card is sneaky good, man. Ah, oh, I got a little too antsy. Swung at a ball. He gets out of the bases loaded jam, but we did tie the game. One run on three hits. Pretty solid inning. Dude, Madrigal is just killing it at second base. Posey to center field, lazy fly out, we're out of the second inning. It seems like this guy is having a tough time distinguishing between Giolito's four seam and his two seam. His two seam is about five miles an hour slower, which is actually kind of nasty. Madrigal down the left field line, is it going to stay fair? It is. <laughs> this man is raking today. Two out double, we'll see if Slugger Juan Pierre can get him home. Oh no, <laughs> I check swung that and it probably would have been a no doubter, that is so sad. <laughs> I totally meant to check swing that too, that's completely on me, rest in peace. Story up the middle, gets himself a single, two out single, I suck at pitching with two outs. First time pitching out of the stretch this entire game, we'll see how his delivery is. Hang the change up and he hits a lazy fly ball. He could have been good okay on that, but it seemed like he was a little under. Uh, pretty smooth delivery out of the stretch, honestly. I've seen worse. Minnie's going to bloop him, dude. <laughs> Very late jammed. Oh my god, we'll stay at first. He's he's had enough of a rough time with this play already. <laughs> he tried me with the high sinker. I think that's Moncada's second perfect perfect this game. First and second, nobody out. Vaughn up the middle. Another perfect perfect. We're going to challenge the arm in center field. We're going to be there easily. This guy is just relentlessly pounding the zone with sinkers, so we've been swinging a little earlier in the count. Tim Anderson works another walk. Zach Collins up with the bases loaded again. His second opportunity like this this game. Last time we grounded out. This time we need to do some damage. And we rip it down the line. Thankfully that got by the first baseman. We are going to score two more. It's 4-1. to one. Still nobody out in this inning. First and third. Zach Collins coming through with the bases loaded. Robert pops it up. I didn't feel like that was that bad of a swing. Are we going to test the arm? I'm going to take off just because we got the pitcher spot up next. And we left early because we're terrible. <laughs> Blew the inning for myself, dude. Oh, no. Giolito puts a good swing on it, but that's going to end the inning. We got four runs on eight hits and a couple walks. We definitely could be up more than three runs if we had converted a little better with runners on. Huge out right there. Got Reggie Jackson to pop it up. That's big. Got Bryant to pop it up too. Two down. Circle change inside, beautiful pitch. Giolito works around the leadoff single. Four innings only, the one bomb given up. 
Madrigal to center. Doesn't have the power to get it all. That's the one knock against Madrigal, man, is his power versus right. Pierre to center as well. Little under it. Two down. Minoso, the check swing god, works the walk. Here's another opportunity for Moncada. And he rips it to right center. I think it's staying in the park, but we may score. Minoso's got 87 speed. We're rounding third. We're there by a mile, dude. Moncada, three for three. We're up five to one. Vaughn strikes out, but that's all right. We got another insurance. Just need Giolito to keep dealing. Five to one game. This lineup is pretty nasty for the White Sox. A lot of glitchy swings. Madrigal, another great play at second. Two down here in the top of the fifth. He is going to pinch hit for Bruce Dar. Second game in a row, we did big damage against Bruce Dar. Tagged him for five runs and four innings this one. It's always great to get a guy like that out of the game after four innings because then you know for sure you're going to face Kluber or Hal for the next five. <laughs> Harper pops it up, first pitch. By all accounts, yeah, we've gotten lucky with a couple good okays from my opponent's good swings, but by all accounts, Giolito is cruising this game. Bloop him to death again, dude. <laughs> I am the very late jammed god today. Tim Anderson leading off with a single. Robert to right field. Will it stay fair? <laughs> Robert to right field for real this time. Nice little single. Two on one out. Giolito's up. We'll try to get a bunt down. Pop up the bunt. Can't get it done. That's all right. Magical with another opportunity to drive in some runs here. He gets the curveball. I don't know what I was doing with my PCI there. That was atrocious. More men left on base. This could not bode well for us later on. Trout down the left field line. That's not going to score anybody. We may get him at third. He didn't even send Rizzo. Wow, good play by my opponent there. Going to get some people warming up in the bullpen. It's going to be Sale and Kopech. <laughs> I'm not trying to mess around, man. Hung the slider to Reggie, but he's going to line out to center field. <laughs> My opponent is getting absolutely screwed this game. Bryant tags the two-seamer alone inside, and it's a one-run game. Honestly, <laughs> he probably deserved that after the Reggie hit. That was a dot I threw, though. Good swing. Ellipsis. All right, we're through six, giving up four. Not the best debut for Giolito. I feel like he's been pitching well, though. Just a couple of bombs. Minoso turns on the inside fastball. I was so far under that. There's no way that's gone. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Ran the two-seamer on me. Good pitch. He gets out of it with just the solo shot from Mini. Two-run game now. Gonna try to pitch one more inning with Giolito. If he gets in any kind of trouble, though, we are going to the pin immediately. Buster Posey hit a double. Gavin Lux lined out on that good squared 102. He's pinch hitting with Trey Turner as the tying run. Sticking to my guns with Lucas, man. I feel like he can get out of this one. Circle change away. He hits it up the middle. I'm going to try to throw him out. Good on him stopping it. Third. All right, I think Lucas is done. Is he done? We'll give him one more batter. Trevor Story threw that down the middle. We got a perfect throw. This is Juan Pierre, so he may not get him, but it is a perfect throw. Yeah, the arm's just too weak. Six to five, and Giolito is done. Six and two thirds, five earned. Not bad, not good. We're gonna go to Chris Sale to try to lock this down. He's stealing, he's swinging, and he took us deep. He's come all the way back. It's seven to six for my opponent. Unbelievable, good on him. I slide step because he knew I was stealing and it cost me the location of the fastball and he took advantage. Trout grounds out to get us out of that hell inning. We may have left Giolito in too long but what can you do and those runners left on earlier are now coming back to bite us. We're down by one, still a winnable game but we got to get the bats going yet again. Anderson up the middle, that's a good start. Tying run on base against Raleigh Fingers. Zach Collins with another opportunity here. He came through last time, two RBI single. And he's gonna fly out to left field. Just late on it, just missed it. Robert to left field, 
Did he get it all? My PCI is not even on that one either. <laughs> it's gone. Yes. We take the lead right back, and that's going to change my decision entirely. I am now going to leave Chris Sale in the game because he's got some people coming up that are worse against lefties. We're going to stick with Sale now that we have the lead. The pressure's back on him. We have gotten some garbage home runs this game, let me tell you. <laughs> Sale up the middle. It doesn't get through the pitcher wall. That is unfortunate. He gave that one a ride for a pitcher. He went up and into Madrigal. I was way under it. That's going to do it for the seventh. But we get the lead right back. <laughs> this game's nuts, dude. Eight to seven going into the top of the eighth. It's Chris Sale on the mound. Reggie flies out to right. One down in the eighth. High slider to Bryant, and he tags us again. <laughs> Chris Bryant killing me this game. 8-8, eight to eight, our opponent ties it up. What a game. Got Soto to roll it over. Two down, but the damage is done. Posey's going to line out to center, and that's going to do it in the eighth. But he ties it up. He got some work to do at the plate yet again. Ooh, he painted us inside. Great pitch. One down in the bottom of the eighth. We got to swing at that, man. That's bad. Minoso works the walk. We'll see if he goes to a pitching change here. Moncada's been killing him, and he's worse against lefties. He's going to stick with Raleigh. This is our shot. He throws us the sinker low. Is it going to get above Reggie's head? It is not. Oh, man. That ball was ripped. Vaughn to left center. I'm pretty sure he got all of that and more. Clutch! Two out home run in the eighth. We're up 10 to 8. Andrew Vaughn, so clutch. We scored in every inning except two. Threw us the slider down and into Tim. Didn't get all of it, but the damage is done in a good way this time. We take the lead right back, 10 to 8. And now we get to debut the newly acquired closer for the Chicago White Sox all-time team. That being Keith Folk, new legend in the game this year. Love that we get to see him. He spent a ton of his prime, his good years in Chicago. Let's see if he can do it the right way and close it out for us. Facing Gavin Lux to start it off. We hang a change up for a single. <laughs> that went nowhere close to where I wanted. Uh-oh, this is not good. Gary Sanchez, pinch hitting, crushes righties over 100 power. You know what he's trying to do, but he rolls it over to short. Anderson to Madrigal. Two down just like that. Huge, huge double play. We're one out away from getting out of this. Keith Folk getting his first career save for the all-time White Sox. Great change up there. Strike one. Let's try sinker inside. I don't know that we've ever had a circle change primary who also had a sinker in the game before. This is a pretty cool card, actually. Down to his final strike. You know, we got to hit him with Folk's signature pitch. Try to backdoor this change up. He pops it up. Andrew Vaughn had the go-ahead home run, and he's going to make the final out. All-time White Sox win it 10-8. Man, what a game. Big props to my opponent. He battled back multiple times that game. Chris Sale gets the win. Giolito pretty decent in his debut. That's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the video. I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for more episodes for the White Sox and for other teams as well. Drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. It helps me out a ton, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.